Hey guys, it's me Jordan. Today I wanted to share with y'all a book haul. It's going to be my first one. Well, obviously it's my first channel. It's my first video on this channel. I have a channel dedicated to scrapbooking, and um, I wanted to have a separate channel dedicated to books. So yeah, let's get started. There are 27, I believe, if I counted right. <coughs> Excuse me. They're the books I bought throughout the summer. And, um, it's basically June and July. I didn't do a lot in August, and I didn't do a lot in May. But, um, I did a few, but not, like, enough to count them. But, um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm going to go in alphabetical order. The first three are the Private Series, 5, 6, and 7, Inner Circle, Legacy, and Ambition. And the next one is the private prequel. I found it used at Hastings, and I thought, well, why not? I, I'm not going to read it till after I read Privilege. But, um, and as you can see, I'm not through private yet. But I wanted to have, uh, I wanted to go ahead and get it because it's in hardback, and I don't know when the next time I'll see it is. The next one is Dead Kelly or Kelete. I'm sorry, I can't say her name. It's Honey Baby Sweetheart. And it's in a, it's set in Nine Mile Falls, and 16-year-old Ruby McQueen, ordinarily dead, the quiet girl, finds herself hanging out with gorgeous, rich, still thirking Siler, Travis Becker. But Ruby is in over her head and starts risking more and more when she's with him. In an effort to keep Ruby occupied, Ruby's mother, Anne, drags Ruby to the weekly book club she runs. When it is discovered that one of the group's own members is the subject of the tragic love story they are reading, Ruby and Anne spearhead a reunion between the long-ago lovers. But for Ruby, the mission turns out to be much more than just a road trip. And I think it's going to be really good. She won an award for it. The next one is Stay, and it's also by Deb Kelly And it's about, I'm not going to go into details, um, it's about a girl who goes away from everything she knows to get away from this one guy who wants her to stay with him. And it's kind of like a stalker type story, and I'm really excited about reading that one. The next one is Bells, and as you can see, I have the rest of her books here, all except one, which is Reality Check. And, um, yeah, so, this is her new series. It's Jim Kalnita, and it's Bells, and it's about two southern girls, one life changing secret, that's what it says on the front. And it's about this girl who grew up on the wrong side of the tracks, and her mother died in a car crash, and um, it's basically about her having to rearrange and have a new life in another town in Emerald Cove on the right side of the tracks. So yeah, it's going to be really good. I can't get into it. I've tried like four times. I can't get past the fact that it's not Caitlin Burke. I don't know how I was able, how I was able to read Sleepaway Girls, but I cannot read Bells. It's impossible. I can't do it. Um, but I'm still going to collect them because one day I'm going to try, I'm going to force myself to read them. Okay, Girl vs. Boy by Yone Collins and Sandy Rideout. And she's not into big extracurricular activities. And it's kind of a big, it's kind of like a battle of the sexes type thing. It's this girl and this boy, they battle it out through newspaper articles in their school. And I read their other book, Love, Inc., and I can't wait to read that one. This one's by Susan Colasante, and it's called Keep Holding On. And, um, it's about a girl who... Let's see. Chew, swallow, chew, swallow, don't look up. Lunch is the worst, but there's no safe place for, at school for Noelle. Keeping her mortifying home life a secret and trying to ignore the kids who make her life miserable are Noelle's survival strategies. Her emotionally distant boyfriend, Matt, isn't the one she really wants to be with, but she's sure there's no way she could ever be with Julian Porter. When Julian starts talking to her, Noelle is terrified. It seems safer to stay away with Matt to stay with Matt than to risk a broken heart. But when the bullying of a friend goes too far, No realizes it's time to stand up for herself and for everything that keeps that makes her keep holding on. And I think that's going to be really good. The next one's by Sarah Dessen. Well, the next year by Sarah Dessen. And this one's called Dreamland. And it's about a girl named Caitlin. And she starts going off with this guy named Rogerson. And she goes into, like, this dreamlike state when she's with him. And it becomes more dangerous to be with him than it is to be without him. So it's her dealing with her choices. This one's called Lock and Key by Sarah Dessen. And I already said that. I told you there was going to be three. Um, and it's about this girl whose mother abandons her. And she starts living on her own in a town, um, in the house that she lives. And social security, uh, 
child, whatever, comes, Child Protective Services, comes and gives her to her sister, who's older, but she hasn't seen in 10 years, because she ran away and said she had no home life. She, this, she was like an orphan. She never had anyone, because she was so ashamed of her mother and everything, her family. And now it's her dealing with it all, and she meets this guy, Nate. She has to let him in, and to save herself, she has to realize she has to sometimes help others. This one's called What Happened to Goodbye. It's, again, by Sarah Dessen. I don't like you saying that. And it's about, um, a girl named McLean who, um, her mom and dad got divorced when she was younger. And it's basically about her, well, it's, uh, she starts, she's always like the joy or the preppy. She tries a new persona at every school she goes to. And she meets this guy, Dave, and she realizes that her dad says she's going to settle down for a while in this new school. So she has to find out who the real McLean is because they think he's falling in love with the real McLean, but she doesn't know who that is anymore. The next one is called The Juliet Club by Susan Harper, and it's about this girl who, um, her boyfriend broke up with her, and she still, like, has feelings for him, and it's basically about her, um, going to Italy for a school internship type thing, and, um, she meets this guy who she tries to stay away from and he wants to be with her and it's basically about being in Italy and falling in love and I think it's going to be a really good book. I just happened to prance across it. The next one is by uh, Marthy Jocelyn and it's Mabel Riley A Reliable Record of Hundred Peril and Romance and it's about a girl who it's set in the time when women were fighting for their rights and it's about this girl who always wanted to be a writer and she gets this chance to go with her sister and get taught by these people how to do these how to um how to be a writer but it's not really what she thought it would be and so she basically has to um let's see it's, it's easier to explain this one's hard to explain too Mabel Riley dreams of having adventures and of becoming a writer. When she travels far from home to act as assistant to her sister's school mistress, her sister's school mistress, Mabel hopes her new world will be fun of, full of peril and romance. Her new life, however, is as humdrum as the one she's left behind. Then Mabel encounters the eccentric, eccentric Miss Rattle, a real writer, who wears daring fashions and takes delight in scaring out the townsfolk by stating her opinions. Mabel eagerly accepts Miss Rattle's invitation to a meeting of the Lady Reading Society. But the ladies are not discussing books at all, and Mabel soon has more peril and romance than she's ever bargained for. And I think that's going to be a really good book. The next one is Thou Shalt Not Road Trip by Anthony John. And it's about a guy, it's about a guy in, um, He's a junior in high school, and he writes this bestseller in two weeks through church camp, through, um, you know, he just, two weeks, and it's, uh, it's basically about him going on a, a um, book tour with his brother and his ex-crush. Don't tell me how he, how he, his brother, I don't know what was wrong with his brother to not tell him that she was going. It's like, surprise, that uh, I don't know, it's, uh, yeah, but it's going to be really good. Um, I would have told my sister. The next three are, um, by Wendy Mass, twice the, the Twice Upon a Time series, the only three that are out currently. The only one I've read is Sleeping Beauty, but her thing is, um, there are two sides to every love story, his and hers, and they're the fairy tales. And they look like that. And there's Rapunzel, the one with all the hair, the one who took the really long nap, sleeping Beauty, and Beauty and the Beast, the only one who didn't run away. And I think that I've only read Sleeping Beauty, but it was awesome. I can't wait to read the other two. The next ones are... Lauren McDaniel, Letting Go of Lisa, and it's about this guy who's been homeschooled his entire life and his parent, his mom has twins so he has to enroll back in high school and it's, he finds this girl who's a loner, she doesn't hang out and do a lot of things with other people and it's about her um, finding, um, it's about her having a deep dark secret that she doesn't want to share with anyone so he has to decide if he can let go of Lisa the next one is To Catch a Prince by Julianne McKnight, and it has To Catch a Prince and The Frog Prince, 
and it's about um, two girls, two and they're also stepsisters, and they're best friends. That's what I meant. <laughs> Sorry. And it's about, um, they get a chance to go to England and to Europe and all these places to see royals. And they always wanted to be a part of the royal family. So it's about how they try to get into the royal family. Like they try to meet a prince and fall in love. But these non-prince boys keep getting in the way. And so it's basically about them choosing real love or the crowns and the jewels and all that. So which one will they choose? The next one it's by Sarah Manowski. Ten things we didn't probably shouldn't have. And this is on my September reading list. And um, I'll do a video for that next. But um, it's about a girl who lies to her dad. And has a chance to go and live with her best friend V. For the rest of the school year. While he moves to Cleveland, Ohio. And it's about how they, how she and her friend V deal with all the situations that come their way on their own because they're both minors. But they think, her parents think her mom is there, but she's not. Her mom's a little easy back and late going. So, yeah. The next one is by Laura Miracle, and it's a, and it's a Peace, Love, and Baby Ducks. And I think that's going to be a really, really good book. It's, um, from what I can tell, it's about sisters. And, um, well, it's a little bit about sisters, and that's what draw, drew me to it. My sister and I are best friends. When one of us does something, the other soon follows. All of the books on our bookshelves, we kind of we kind of switch back and forth. Like, sometimes I have books on my bookshelf that belong to her. Sometimes she has books on my bookshelf that belong to me. And I'm like, I want to reread this. Pass it over. And she's like, I'm currently rereading it myself. I mean, we're just best friends. We share everything. Clothes, shoes, books, makeup, everything. And, um, so, yeah we share a lot and me and my sister are best friends we're bu each other's built-in best friends that's what our mom called us when we were younger and we're just that's how we grew up so I was really looking forward to reading this we do monthly book clubs me and my sister because we weren't on Goodreads for a while and we really enjoyed just like reading books together and all that um the next one is The Wild Girls by Pat Murphy and it's about this girl who moves to a different town and she starts hanging out in the woods, and she meets this girl named Fox, and her, Fox, and they live out in the woods, she lives out in the woods with her dad, and Fox, his dad, is a writer, and they start writing stories together, and they get a chance to go to, like, a retreat, where, because they're, they've got first place in their writing contest, and, um, it's basically about, um, the story is basically about, kids growing up on their own and finding who they are without the adult's help. Like, you know, growing up and, you know, changing without, you know, adult input. The next one is A Royal Match. I'm sorry, there's only three more left. And, um, well, it, this one has four in it, two in it, but, yeah. Um, let's see, um... It's by Tyne O'Connell, and it's an ordinary girl, a prince in line for the throne. This has the makings of a royal match. The first one's called Pulling Princes, and the second, the second one's called Stealing Princes, and it's a bind-up. She has a second bind-up out of the next two books, and it looks like this. And I can't see what they're about because they're a series, but they, they, seem, they seem like they're going to be pretty cool. Um, the next one is called Coffeehouse Angel, and it's by Susan Selfords author of Saving Juliet. I've never seen that book before. But, um, it's about, um, a girl whose p grandmother runs a coffee house and she f finds this guy at the back of the, um, in the alley behind their coffee house and she's like, he's a hobo. You know, she's, he could be an axe murderer. What is he doing laying in my alley passed out? And, um, she gives him coffee and old Dale scones, and he starts following her around saying, I have to reward this good deed. You did it selflessly. I have to reward this good deed. And it's like, she's like, I don't want anything. I want you to leave me alone. That's what I want. It's about her um, believing and, you know, getting that one thing that she desires the most. And how can she tell that to a stranger? This last one is one of those hideous books where the mother dies by Sonia Sones. That's That really is what the book is called. It's what drew, what's what attracted me to the book. 
And it's about a girl whose, well, mother dies. And she goes to live with this her movie star dad that she, nobody knew she had a lost daughter. And nobody knew she was the lost daughter. And it's about her dealing with that because, you know, her mother died. So, yeah, those are my books for the um, summer that I have bought. And, um, yeah, so thanks for watching. And I'll be back with more videos soon. Bye.